Hello, my darlings, and welcome. In this video, I invite you to plan with me for the month of February. I create a set of printable planner stickers and plan out a magical month. I'm using a pink color palette and a Valentine's and Hearts theme. Let's do some magical crafting. Thank you for joining me as I planned for February and a month of self-love and care. My planner stickers and planner pages were inspired by this set of washi tape. I'll leave a link to all of the materials I used in this video in the description below. I have also included timestamps for each section of creating stickers and filling in my planner pages, so you can easily navigate to whatever interests you. Because Valentine's Day happens mid-month, February always seems to be the month when we focus on loving relationships and self-love. Love will be the theme for my planner pages for February. To create this month's planner stickers, I started by painting five heart-themed elements for my sticker sheets. A cute little plant, a cupcake, an envelope filled with hearts, some strawberries, and a bottle filled with hearts. And then I scan my paintings into Photoshop, color correct them, trim them out, and then add them to my sticker sheets. And here are all of my completed sticker sheets. Each weekly sheet contains a lined week starter sticker with an illustration, strips for each day of the week, mini icon stickers, moon faces, a page header, and a few more blank strips. I use a paper cutter to trim out my stickers to get straight cuts and to avoid struggling with scissors. If you'd like to download a PDF of these planner stickers, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below this video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. Now let's get into my planner pages. This is a weekly planner I designed. It's available on Amazon. It contains 210 pages, letter sized, with a matte cover. I have a whole series of magical crafting workbooks, planners, and grimoires, and I'll leave a link to the planner below, as well as a link to the book series. I'm going to use these strips to write about five affirmations relating to self-care and self-love, which is the focus of my February layout. The first affirmation is, I let go of expectations. In order to be more joyful and spontaneous, I let go of expectations and work to lessen my tendency to overthink and overplan things. The second affirmation is, I keep promises to myself. I show myself love and care by valuing myself enough to keep the promises I make and show up for myself every day. The third affirmation is, I take care of myself. I love and respect myself enough to show concern for my health. As I improve my health and take care of myself, I feel more energetic and motivated. The fourth affirmation is, I manage my energy. Before beginning any project, and when planning my activities and time, I determine the best places to expend my energy. I do not waste energy on unhelpful or negative endeavors. The fifth affirmation is, I choose my attitude each day. I show myself respect and love by knowing that I have the power to decide how I feel and act each day. Other people and circumstances do not control my mood unless I allow it. The first page of each month is a full page dotted with space for a header. This page can be used for any number of planning purposes, 
This month I'm going to use this page for the five rectangular strips with my affirmations. This way I can refer back to them when I need to boost my mood or remind myself of my self-love goals. The right side of the two page spread is where I plan out my monthly magical crafting channel content and make notes of the moon faces. As I do every month, I created a section with all of the moon phases so that I can plan a new moon and a full moon ritual, and so that I can consult the moon phases as needed to plan my magical workings, though I don't let the phase of the moon stop me from practicing my craft as needed. Knowing the moon phases is also helpful when I'm planning month-long projects. My Plan With Me videos give you a preview peek into what's coming on the Magical Crafting channel in the upcoming month. Scheduling all the videos for this channel is the main focus of the monthly overview page. If you follow my Plan With Me content, you may have noticed that I've listed far fewer videos than usual. I've decided to abandon my ambitious video schedule of three videos a week. I've come to believe that publishing three videos every week may have been hurting my channel's growth. Publishing two videos a week will give my content a bit more space to breathe and a chance for people to watch it before a new one comes along to bury it or push it aside in the YouTube algorithm. As part of my self-care practice, I only produce as many videos as I can without stressing myself out working an unhealthy number of hours, or pushing myself toward burnout. My upcoming Art Witch Wednesday live streams will be on the first and third Wednesdays of February. I'll be crafting a shrine to the Egyptian goddess Maat on February 2nd, and creating an acrylic painting on February 16th. I hope you'll join me for those live streams at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if they sound like something you may be interested in. I also planned out my Patreon rewards for February. A printable book of shadows page for a spell candle and another for a spell jar recipe printable March planner stickers, and of course, I'll mail out pen pal cards as well. Now let's look inside my weekly pages. I filled out all of the daily headers with their dates and placed all of them in the weekly spreads. Typically, my weeks are arranged with Monday through Wednesday across the top of both pages and Thursday through Sunday across the bottom. I created these illustrated and lined stickers to start my weeks and note down my weekly goals or top priorities. I also place all the moon face stickers throughout the month and note the days I'll do a new moon ritual and a full moon ritual. I note the days I intend to publish my planned videos and add in filming and editing tasks. I also note all of the days I plan to upload Patreon rewards and which rewards I'm uploading. Each Sunday, I'm planning some self-care and self-love activities. This can include playing games, walking at the park, or even meal planning and house chores. The point is to take this day off from work and not think about work either. This strategy is meant to help me stave off burnout that has been threatening to creep in. Another strategy I'm employing this month is to have single focus days for some projects. Rather than a bunch of things on my to-do list, I'm going to see if a full day of intense focus can get me further on a project. I'm hoping I can get into a flow state and double my usual productivity. 
I'm leaving a few open days to catch up if I fall behind as well, as these are always needed and never planned for in my previous monthly planner pages. And with that, it's time to add some decorative washi tape to each page and then the final flip through for the month. I hope these changes in my monthly plans will result in some truly productive days, as well as feeling cared for and self-loving and relaxed during my downtime. I hope this Plan With Me video provided you with some inspiration for your own planning endeavors. If you enjoy my Plan With Me and Art Witch content, kindly leave me a like on this video.